we're here in Council Sal uh, with Karin Fu. Uh, she's a working artist, a musician, a singer, an entrepreneur. Uh, so uh, we want to share uh, your experience. You know, um, first of all, tell us a little bit of what you're doing right now uh, in terms of your artwork, and music. Okay, I'm doing. Um programs and small events with uh, literature and music. I come usually from literature um, and now I'm a singer also. So we do some um, projects making a fusion of literature and music in a program. Sometimes they're only, they're also just programs just with music for like we call it Liederabend. <laughs> so I think it's an international word, a song, uh, um, an evening with songs, okay, different okay, songs, yes, but yes. it's a kind of crossover thing, not only classical, also pop songs, and yeah, that's so what I'm doing at the moment. To, uh, there's a lot of aspiring artists, entrepreneurs, uh, managers, cultural managers, cultural agents. What, what could be maybe one or two advices that you can give them? If they say, you know what, I'm going to live from, from music, I'm going to live from the arts, I'm going to create projects, what could be those advices that you can give them? I think it's very important to do what you like to do and what you're good in. I think this is the, the main thing. I agree. But then to be, to be connected with other people, to, to get the resource of being together with other artists, with talking to them, not to see only, oh, if he's going to be... Um, It, this evening maybe I don't I don't get the money but to work together right I think this is one of the things I um, I will do more even mm -hmm. and um, sometimes that's it's difficult good. for, yeah, that's for good. artists so all, the, all the artists I'm the best <laughs> or I have to yeah this ego. is normal there's a, yes. there's a phrase that if you can limit your ego then there's no limits yeah you know? that's it that's it right. but there are several people who are in my um, area we're working together quite well And I think it's a resource. It's not a. It's not a danger to. You yeah. you, you have to do things together. Right. That's, I think this is the, the for us, for us the small artists. The, yeah, uh, it's beautiful. Because it's passion. You yeah. know, living with from what you like and enjoy and makes you happy. Yeah. And collaboration. I think yeah. that, that's yeah. great. So. Uh, I have to thank you for your time being You're here welcome. in this particular town in, in Germany. It's a uh, very special have, town. Very yeah. special <laughs> town and then finding you and it's, uh, it's, it's a great chance for people to share with people, uh, especially in Latin America, which most of the people that we target are in those regions, uh, to share this experience. So thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so hi, I'm here with Dr. Duhda <laughs> Kuhn. Yeah. Wow. Do it. <laughs> so um, we were having this interesting discussion and wanted to bring it uh, here. And she's working with the creative industries and, uh, and cultural work. But very interestingly, uh, she mentioned the fact that she's not working specifically with artists and more with the rest of the cultural workers. Uh, can you mention a little bit of, of what, what's the reason behind that approach to that and what specific uh, workers and, and, and professionals you're, you're working with? Uh, well, actually, our working field with uh, cultural workers is very broad. Um, our main target groups, as we may call it, uh, are uh, people uh, educated in the humanities. Humanities, in this case, um, art historians, uh, people studying language, historians. Um, so this is the, the traditional uh, field other than the technology field. And uh, uh, we, we think uh, that those people have special abilities and special knowledge which can be transferred in a way um, which supports cultural management, but which also uh, uh, supports topics like regional development, urban development, um, uh, uh, even fields like energy efficiency, um, uh, All topics which are linked somehow to culture, but which are not not culture in themselves. So, aquí estoy en la universidad, eh, recién terminando la conferencia, una universidad bastante pequeña, 
justo en el borde del río. Y es un pueblito bastante pequeño. Eh, este lugar era un anteriormente un lugar industrial, una fábrica, así que fue convertida en una universidad, en un campus de la Universidad de Heilbronn, que es una universidad pública, eh, aunque este campus lleva el nombre de un eh, empresario de la región, eh, apellido Wood, que tiene una fábrica muy famosa de tornillos, tuerca, eh, aparentemente muy famosa en Europa. Y esta persona fue la que hizo la universidad, el campus, y que lo financió en su totalidad. Un pueblito bien pequeño, 15.000 15, habitantes si se cuentan las afuera. Eh, y mucho del, de las actividades, eh, por ejemplo los museos, eh, son propiedad de, de este empresario que tiene una de las colecciones más grandes de Europa. El hotel donde nos estamos quedando también eh, es propiedad del empresario, así que eh, es como un one man show. Así que ahora voy a caminar al hotel eh, y probablemente deje de grabar ya porque me estoy congelando las manos. Ahorita les voy a mostrar un poco de la ladera de, de la montaña donde hay muchas de las viviendas de, del municipio. Bueno, aquí estoy siguiendo la caminata. Estoy bien explotado. Llevo dos días aparentando que el frío no está brutal, que estoy acostumbrado, pero la verdad es que está bien frío. Está 20, 20, 20, 22. Y... Está bien frío. Para acá se ve un poco lindo. Esa es la ladera de la, de la montaña que les mencionaba. Que tiene mucha de la vivienda. Todavía me falta un poquito.